All right, so I'm in the process of installing this intake on my uh, Milwaukee 8, and I thought I'd make a video of how to do it because I had a look on YouTube, and there doesn't seem to be anybody actually showing how to properly install this intake. So at this point, here is where I'm at. I've removed the factory intake. Now to do that, it's just, it's pretty simple. There's other videos out there on how to do it. So when it's on the bike, you've got this backing plate on there that's held on by these, uh, by these two bolts. So you just take those out. Um, before you do that, you remove the three bolts that hold the filter on. And before you do that, you remove the cover. So first things first, you just remove the cover, which is held on by this one bolt. And then you remove the filter and then you remove the backing plate so after you do that you have all these here then this little bracket this bracket is usually here so you remove that and this throttle body wire which is right there that's usually held onto the bracket uh, with a little zap strap so i pulled that off that's that was the zap strap that held the uh, throttle body wire on now then the kit it comes with a new zap strap and it wasn't overly clear as to where they wanted you to put that zap strap so having a look at this uh, diagram it's actually showing you from the back side of the throttle body so this is where you put the new zap strap it's on the back side of this hole here so you put that in there and you zap strap the uh, the wire back there so it's kind of out of the way so then the next step is they tell you to take this uh, backing plate which is this piece here and attach it to the um, the throttle body cover um, so, sorry, this is the, the little metal piece is the throttle body cover and this big thick machined aluminum piece is the backing plate. So you take this cover, you align it with those holes and you use these little screws to attach it. So what happened here is that uh, I tightened it a little too much and broke one of the screws. So now there's not much I can do about that unless I spend the time and drill that little screw out and put a new one in but at this point I'm just gonna have it with two so don't be like me and don't over tighten them now those holes that are in the backing plate they're not tapped or threaded so hardly in the instructions says to use self tapping screws well the screws that they provide provide aren't really all that self tapping so you just kind of got to do your best to line them up and uh, screw them in so then now that uh, you're at this step, they call these little uh, gaskets here, um, they call them square rings. This is step three. Um, now step two was to take this gasket and apply it to, uh, um, to the throttle body backing plate there. So you take the adhesive part off, this was the adhesive part, you take that off the back land holes and you stick it on there. And then what you gotta do is take these square rings and you put them in these holes. So note that there is a, uh, also an adhesive on the back side of these. So I've already done one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one right now. Take the adhesive off and you stick it on. So you've got that there. Okay, so moving on to the next step. We're on um, step number four in the instructions there now where it says align the holes in the induction module with the holes in the back plate. So the induction module is the, the throttle body and the back plate is this piece. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to put the screws through the holes where they need to go. And then I'm going to put some Loctite on the screws from the back side. That way, I'm not actually losing the Loctite as I'm uh, putting it, putting the bolts through the holes. None of the Loctite actually ends up 
in the holes and stays on the threads. So I'm using the blue Loctite as per the instructions. That's the medium strength stuff. Hopefully it doesn't uh, tighten them so bad that you'll never be able to get them out again. So I put some Loctite on the, back, on the threads there. I don't know how well you can see that, but that should be enough. So now this might be a little tough to do one-handed, but we just take the uh, screws and line them up with the holes in the throttle body there and uh, get the screws started. So I've got the piece on there now. I've just got those screws started. I didn't tighten them. So now we take these little O-rings and we put them in these little holes here, the counter bore holes. And they're a little tight, but they seem to fit in there just fine. And then we take these big bolts here, these two, and we put them in here. So this is on step number seven in the instructions talks about insert the breather screws through the back plate so that's what I'm doing now so I also take the second screw here and put it through the second uh, hole here now also before you do all this you'll probably want to Cut this little zap strap so that it's uh, nice and tidy and you don't have to try to get in there after the fact. So now you take the appropriate Torx bit and you tighten down those, those big bolts. So we'll go with a, a T45 is the one that you need for that. So the instructions say to Alternately tighten the two breather screws to about 120 to 144 inch pounds. I don't have an inch pound torque wrench, but I'll tighten it just enough so it's it's tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and alternate between the two. So I tighten that one down, tighten the other one down a bit more. Now tighten this one and tighten that one. Now we can go ahead and tighten these three smaller ones. Now these smaller ones, it calls for 55 to 60 inch pounds. So about half of what you did the other ones with. So I'm also going to alternate on these. All right, so I've got that tight now. I'll also go ahead and uh, cut that zap strap. Okay, so now we've got this piece on, moving on to the next step. So we're on step number one of the air filter element installation. So it tells you to install the filter element onto the intake tube. Then you install the gasket. So we've got our intake tube here. And we've got our filter. So now we can go ahead and install the two. So if you note, there is a, a bit of an angle on the end of the filter, so you probably want, want it pointing downwards. That's how it is in the picture anyway. So that's the way I'm gonna do mine. So I've installed it here. There is a, uh, a clamp there that you need to tighten. It's nice and hidden here. It's only exposed on the back side, which is nice. So you go ahead and uh, install that and tighten it down. All right, so now I've got this the filter tighten down onto the pipe and we take our gasket that it came with 
and we line it up here. It doesn't seem to matter which way it goes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, line it up just like so. And then we'll put it, it onto the backing plate. Now, this is a bit tedious to do. So I think the easiest way to do it is to just take the screws, put them in the holes, and they'll actually hold the gasket in place as you're trying to install it. And sorry, it does matter that the way this uh, gasket goes, it only goes one way. So if you try to install it this way, the, uh, the screw holes don't line up. So if you flip it upside down, and then you move it over, now the screw holes line up. So this gasket only goes one way. So keep that in mind. So I've put the screws into the holes and it's probably easier to just do it with one screw. That way your gasket will stay in place as you're trying to put this thing onto the, uh, onto the backing plate. So I've just got it loosely on there with two screws right now. So I'm going to take the third screw and put it in the hole here. So now I've got all the screws in place and we need to uh, tighten them down to 55 to 60 inch pounds also so we can go ahead and tighten them down. Again, this is not the easiest thing to do one handed, but you get the idea. Okay, so after you tighten that down, you can uh, choose to install this rain sock, and that just goes on the filter there if you want. I'm not going to do that, I'll just leave it like this, and uh, that's it. So now, <coughs> we've got an intake installed. So hopefully this was helpful, if you guys have any questions. You can uh, let me know. Thanks for watching.